Okay, in this third video, we are still going to focus on the repeat function and uh, just going to add a, a couple of different um, ideas into your little portfolio of ideas for graphing in cell. Um, at the right hand, it's the same worksheet, but at the right hand end, we've got a little table here which has got three headings, dots, dashes, dots, and labeled. And uh, in column J, there's some values. So what I want to do is use the repeat function to create um, uh, kind of a graph just using a dot. The second one will be a graph that utilizes dashes and a dot, and you'll see what that looks like. And then uh, we'll create the repeat function, we'll add in the value at the end of it. And uh, it's simply a matter of just adapting the repeat function. So let's look at the dot one first. Okay, in this particular case, I simply type in the repeat function equals REPT. And what I'm going to do is open it up, and what I want to do is simply put a space. So I open and close quotation marks and put a space in between. So I'm going to put a space for each of the repeats that we're going to do and I'm going to repeat that the number of times shown in column J3. So that gives us the kind of the space before we put in the O, uh, the little dot. And to add the dot I simply type an AND symbol then open quotation, put the dot, which is a zero. Oop, I don't want a capital. I just want a zero, uh, an O, sorry. Uh, close quotation and hit return. And what it does is it positions the dot this many spaces, what you see in J3, away from the left side. And you'll see if I drag that function down to repeat, I've got a series of dots that are staggered according to whatever's shown in these cells. So if this particular cell went up to 22, and the dot would move accordingly in response. If it goes back to two, then it would drop down. And we kind of get a, a sense of how each of these values relate to one another, comparatively speaking. Okay, um, dashes and dots. So what I want to do is create this, but I want to put a dash uh, to the left of the dot. So it's kind of like a, um, it's still a bit of a chart um, without the gap there. And in order to do that, I simply type in the repeat function, R-E-P-T. I'm going to this time put in the dash symbol. So open and close quotation marks with the dash in between. I'm going to put it the number of times it appears in J3. And at the end of it, I want to add the dot. So I simply put the end symbol, open and close quotation marks with an O in between. So what that's going to do is repeat a series of dashes with an O at the end and what it looks like well what it looks like is and what it looks like is what you see here I simply whoop I simply drag this down and this time I end up with a similar graph but with dashes to indicate the kind of the spaces instead okay one more to do and that's where we're going to put in a labeled uh, chart or graph and the way we're going to do that is quite simply inserting the repeat function and open bracket. I want to repeat the capital I and I want it to repeat the number of times that appears in J, cell J3. And what I want to do is add something to the end of that, the, to the end of it. And in this case, I want to add the value so that I see the bar and then the value of whatever's in J3. And the way I would add that is something like this. I'll put and, and I've got to put a space in here or it'll be butted up against it. So to put a space in, I simply put open quotation, space bar, close quotation. So that adds a space in. And I want to add, so I do another and, and I want to add whatever's in J3. So I type J3 as the reference, and I hit return. And what you see is the graphs with the value that appears in J at the end of it. And if I change any of these, then everything reacts accordingly. Make it 22, and it jumps out. So there you have it, a couple of cool little functions using the repeat function. Have fun.